Research shows that it doesn't matter how good or bad you sing. As a parent, if you sing to your child, it'll have a positive effect, and that positive effect will be long-lasting. So many of the parents that I speak to say, Oh, I can't sing. Oh, my family doesn't like my singing. And, uh, you know, oh, I've never been able to sing. Oh, no, I, I, I wouldn't be caught dead singing. No, no, it's much better for my child if I don't sing because I'm such a bad singer. But I'm looking at a study from 2016 from the peer-reviewed journal Psychological Science. It's co-written by Samuel A. Mayer, one of the major researchers on lullabies, along with Leanne Song, yes, her last name is Song, S-O-N-G, and Elizabeth S. Spelke, or Spelk. They did a very carefully controlled three-stage experiment and that was spread over many months, eight months at least, and uh, their report very carefully details the controls that they made for variables, well-designed study, and they found three important points, and the second one I want to get to today. The first one I've already talked about in an earlier vlog, uh, and blog that about how the, they found that songs that were sung to the child by the parent um, endured in the infant's memory and can you continue to capture their attention much more strongly and powerfully than songs that the child had heard sung either by a stranger or sung uh, or played instrumentally by a musical toy. So, although all three, you know, had a certain effect, um, the ones that were the melodies that were sung by the parents were the strongest and most enduring and had the most power uh, to help the child over, over a long period of time. The second point, though, is the one I want to highlight today, and I quote from them, from page 499. Caregivers with low confidence in their musical abilities need not worry that the effects of their live singing are reduced by their lack of extensive musical training. In our experiments, we could not predict infants' behaviors at test from their parents' musical abilities. Although it's a very cool and scientific way to put it, basically, they are telling us it doesn't matter how badly you sing, how badly you think you sing, that the music that you yourself sing as a parent to your child is going to be the most powerful and will continue to reverberate in their brain even when they hear it from a stranger or if they hear it from a recording later on in their life. So parents, sing to your children. Don't just play a recording. Don't just plug in the iPad, iPad uh, iPod to the, to the speakers. Um, it doesn't matter, according to this study, whether you sing badly, quote-unquote, as people conventionally think about it or not. It's the power of your engagement through music with your child, as your power of your engagement with them in all aspects of your life, that holds the benefit for them, and over time.